Hey everybody, I'm Aslan. He is Michael Langston, a special edition of War Chant TV. They're all special editions because we all get together and talk Florida State football. If you like that, hit the thumbs up, subscribe. The button's right below Michael Langston or head over to warchant.com and get the latest scoop because this stuff is usually uh, a little little bit dated, slightly dated. Uh, but anywho, as we uh, do this, Michael, uh, if you Google, true fact, if you Google Jake Slaughter rivals, you'll see the second result says Jake Slaughter has not wavered in his commitment. <laughs> There's been a plot twist, it seems like, right, Michael? Yeah, there has been. And uh, he had got an offer from Florida a while back. And you know, as I mentioned uh, a few times early in the, in the season that, you know, Florida State was the one that put the, the interest in him and really put the push on him. And they had the relationship. So Florida kind of pushed him to the back burner. And then now Florida, then Florida started heating up. They offered. And then, uh, you know, it, it seemed like for a while, um, even you know, even last month when we did the the story with Jake, that he was very solid to you know Florida State, and then um, it seemed like the last two weeks, based on what my contact is telling me, that's close to all three of the trendy Catholic kids, tells me that you know things started twisting, and he started getting more torn, he started wanting to stay closer to home because uh, he's from Ocala, and Cala's right next to Gainesville, so not that FSU is a long ways, but um, Florida has always been this school that he liked growing up. So it started to, you know, turn a little bit there. And then, and then this morning we got, it, it really picked up, uh, you know, as far as stuff. And then Jake obviously, uh, committed to Florida and flipped his commitment from Florida state to Florida. So, yeah, there you go. I mean, for you, does, does it feel like it's more of a Florida kind of came on stronger, let him know that they wanted him. And then he just, that's kind of where his heart's been. Or do you think Florida state, you know, cooled on him or anything like that. I don't think Florida State cooled on him. I think they like him, but at the same time, um, you know, one FSU contact told me this morning is like, it, if your heart's not in it and you don't want to be here, we want guys that want to be Seminoles. You know, so uh, I, I won't say who that contact is, but that's kind of the feeling of their vibe of. I think FSU still wanted them, but at the same time. You know, they're not going to beg somebody to come here. If you don't want to be here, this ain't going to be the place for you anyway. So you got to want to be here. And um, now certainly they have Brian Essis who can play who can play the center position very well. Um, he can play that position. And then they're also recruiting Michael Malinsky from uh, Jacksonville, who is uh, you know pretty high on FSU. When you, when when he's talked about them, we did a story on him. I think Texas, Iowa, or some of the you know, the main teams that are also pushing for Michael. Um, he's mentioned that he, he, he can be a pure center in this, in this uh, offense line. Um, and that's what FSU is recruiting him as. So Walensky um, a guy and, and sa says that he's going to decide soon. So that will be interesting plot twist. If, if somehow uh, FSU was able to pull off a uh, Malinsky and, and, and get him and then re have somebody to replace, uh, you know, slaughter. But either way, I don't, I don't envision FSU going back to Slaughter and and, and say, okay, well, we're going to still recruit. And it's like, no, nah, they they've done their part. It's like uh, you you pretty much made your decision. You know wh what's who's the priority to you, and and I think that's kind of FSU stance. So whether it's Malinsky or somebody else, I think they will add another center. All right, well that's uh that's always a good thing. Fallback yeah. plans, options. Seems like uh, this staff. Uh, definitely has those sort of things uh, in their playbook. So, uh, again, Jake Slaughter uh, from Ocala Trinity Catholic uh, decommits from Florida State and has, I guess, gone ahead and totally flipped and, and committed to, to Florida. Yeah. So not only like a, a decommit, it's uh, kind of like a two for one for him. Yeah. Uh, but at least in terms of the the present uh, the present sort of world that we live in, obviously still baby on Johnson, Andrew Baselli, two guys at center, and uh, we know that uh, Maurice Smith, who they recruited uh, two mm -hmm. years ago now from Miami Central. Is a guy that can probably swing on the interior. So uh, it's not like once Baby on Andrew leaves, there's nobody uh, to, to kind of pick up the slack. And then as Michael talks about here, as you look at the video of uh, Michael Mislinski, uh, that's also an option too. So uh, do stay tuned. Stay connected to warchant.com. Michael will have the latest on all recruiting news over on the Ultimate Sentinel Sports Source. Michael, your time. Much appreciated. Thank you, bud. Appreciate it.